we're in the midst of, of a global climate and ecological crisis and the UK is no exception. The latest State of Nature report by conservation bodies which, which covers um, loads of species uh, showed that 41% of species are in um, at least moderate decline and 15% are extinct or at risk of extinction in the UK. Um, now this is largely to do with how we manage the countryside, our rural areas as well as climate change but it means that there's a huge opportunity for urban areas and particularly urban gardens to be part of the solution. Gardens are a really important part of this because they cover a quarter of, of the capital in terms of land area. Um, but unfortunately the way people are, are managing and changing their gardens isn't helping. Um, a 10 year study in London found that we lose the equivalent of two and a half Hyde Parks worth of green space a year as residents um, pave over their front gardens for parking spaces, lay artificial back lawns to sanitise things for their children and remove trees. So Rewild My Street um, is based in London and it seeks to help residents to um, adapt their homes, gardens and streets for wildlife. This also has benefits for people, um, Contact with, with nature and green space dramatically improves our health and well-being in terms of both physical and mental health and can help uh, regulate our urban environment that we live in, um, helping reduce things like flood risk and urban overheating that are going to be increasingly problematic with climate change. My background is, a, is an architect and I teach architecture here at, at the CAS at London Metropolitan University. Um, so I'm approaching this through design research methods. The Rewild My Street is based around a campaign and website which uses architectural drawings to show a vision of how a typical London kind of Victorian terrace street could be transformed um, for wildlife and people. It shows um, different views of this street, uh, reimagined as a kind of green, vibrant um, environment with diverse range of, of species that are, are known to um, be attracted to urban gardens um, to, to really inspire people um, with an aspirational vision of how their street could look just if they and their neighbours take quite small individual actions that would all add up over a street, over a neighbourhood and over the whole city.